Welcome. This is our video for the emergency vehicle siren detector. This is studied at the University of Cincinnati College of Engineering. Our group consists of three electrical engineers, Brandon Bright, Mark Holdsworth, and Adam Yeager, with our advisor, Dr. Alton Varandisi. What we're going to discuss today is our tests and results, as long as a quick demo of how our product works. Now I'm going to hand it over to Mark Holdsworth. The goal of our project was to introduce a product that would alert a driver in a non-intrusive way that an emergency vehicle is approaching. We wanted to do this by one, using a receiver of four directional microphones and the end user, which is an LED display on the driver's rear view mirror. And we started this off by identifying the frequency range that we needed to apply our filters to and by using MATLAB and FFTs, we found that it is in the 1000 to 1100 kilohertz range. Thanks, Mark. Next, we're going to go into the schematic and what we accomplished with the circuitry that we created. Next, we'd like to discuss things that we achieved in the schematic. First, we achieved a narrow band pass filter that was able to find a signal between 1,000 and 1,100 kHz. And then, next, we were able to achieve a preamp circuit that goes into our Butterworth filter, which comes from the mics. And we're also able to have comparator logic, which not only compares a reference voltage to every single voltage coming from the filters, but we're also able to accomplish comparator logic that compares each signal, vice versa, so front versus left or front versus right, to tell which one is, has a higher signal coming in. And then after that, we were able to use timer logic to make the LEDs more noticeable and constant when it comes out of the timer circuit. Now that we've discussed the robust circuitry of our device, Adam's going to go into the test results and what modifications we made for a more sound device. So, some other things that we've approved upon are the rectifier circuit converted the mixed signal to a DC signal into the comparator logic. Um, we've added amplifier sensitivity for uh, incoming signal into the input of the microphone so that we're not over amplifying it for the sensitivity of the comparator logic reference voltage. Uh, that was a big thing is just the sensitivity of the reference voltage. We didn't want to overbear it with the microphone's preamp and the voltage divider helped um, create that reference voltage sensitivity we needed. Uh, voltage divider was originally a voltage regulator but we thought the divider would be a more reasonable thing for what we're going for right now. Thanks, Adam. Now that you've learned more about our circuitry and the modifications that we made, let's go into a demo and test the emergency vehicle siren detector. As you can see from left to right, we have our rear view mirror with the LEDs installed in the left corner. And then in the middle, we have our circuit. And on the right, we have our four mics for the front, right, back, and left. Um, as you can see when I'm talking, the LEDs aren't turning on. But next, we're going to test a control of just a normal song to see if the LEDs turn on from the mics. And so you can see the LEDs did not turn on during that entire sequence. And next we're going to try an actual siren and see if that activates the LEDs. I would just like to highlight a couple things that might not have been as apparent in the demo. First, the LEDs as you can see in front of you go from front, back, left, to right. All of the sound that you heard was coming from an MP3 that was placed on the right of the device. Once it was played, you could see that it was definitely more apparent that the right LED was on, which means that our directional LEDs work. Also, when he started to turn around, you could see that the LEDs started to scatter and some of the other ones started to turn on. So depending on where the siren sound was coming from, maybe the front and the left would be on because it was coming from that angle. So, thank you for watching our video demo on the emergency vehicle siren detector. Have a great day.